Thank you for the introduction. Today we would like you to discover five essentials to reduce energy consumption in your tissue machine and what savings it brings to our business and environment. Let's have a look at how CNS Mill in China is using IntelliTissue tissue machines to reach high quality tissue production in harmony with nature. Here is the machine concept. As you can see, it is conventional crushing former type machine with a hydraulic headbox. It is equipped with a single suction press row working against relatively large steel Yankee dryer with pretty high nip load. The machine has no regular hood over the Yankee dryer, what will be explained in the presentation. The last section of our machine is equipped with a conventional automatic reel section. Chongqing的一个企业 我们在后面希望维美德这边能够成绩，我们希望唯美德能够在这方面啊继续是呃创新啊，继续去推动呃这个产品更节能啊，这个更环保。Thank you for these good words. So let's start with this uh, with the first change we have made in our tissue machine. It was stock approach area with the hydraulic headbox and our aim was to lower electric energy consumption. Yes, at the beginning we focused on the headbox and fan pump. What we've done is the tube shape change from round to rectangular tube. It assures significant formation improvement. This is the one of the areas which consumes a lot of electric energy, so we decided to optimize the headbox to be able to run with higher consistencies and at the same time keep the same quality of tissue formation. Higher consistencies reduce flow to the headbox, what lowers fan pump electric energy consumption as we don't have to pump so much water to the system. So as you can see here in the chart having round tubes, top line, we have rather typical consistencies for different basis weights and the range is 0.17 up to 0.24%. The bottom line describes consistencies after change with the range 0.185% up to 0.255%, what has a big influence on electric power consumption. Exactly. And <clears throat> what's more, we were playing with the numbers in the meal and we found that we can go even lower than what Maciek said and still keep good formation of uh, the paper, what gives another savings for our customers. Anyway, by changing the consistencies, as Magic presented, we could reduce power consumption by almost 620,000 uh, kilowatts hour per year, what gives around 54,000 euro yearly savings. And what even more important, we can lower CO2 emission to the environment by around 570 tons per year, what is so important nowadays. There is one more option. You can still come back to the standard settings with lower consistencies and produce a higher quality of the final product. This gives the flexibility of the production depends on the customer needs. 
The second area of the optimization was Yankeehood. This is another energy consuming place where we wanted to optimize. So we decided to eliminate conventional steam hood completely and run with the air cap, which works as an exhaust cap only. By this change, we could signif significantly lower steam uh, as well as electric power consumption. This is very important to be more competitive on the market. Yes, it was a big change as it doesn't reduce electric power or steam consumption only, but also the drawing capacity of the machine. But we found a solution for that as well, what will be explained a little bit later. So what we did is the steam hood change to simple X-house from above the Yankee dryer. As you can expect, we do not have heating power coming from the hood, so we could limit steam consumption. In this chart, you can see consumption differences between the steam hood and the air cap. Of course, we still consume steam in high efficient Yankee dryer, but the limitation of the steam hood broke the in total around 0.5 ton of steam saving to each ton of paper. And this uh, gives over 21,000 tons of steam per year less, what is around 415,000 euro savings per year. We have to mention also about less uh, CO2 emission by 5,500 tons per year to the air. Okay, but the air cup brings not only steam savings, it is also reduces electric power consumption as we have fewer fans in the system and they, they are much smaller, so consumes less energy. Exactly. We do not have in air cap high efficient supply fans, makeup fan or exhaust fan. All we have to do is to supply a little bit of hot air to the head up the air cap to prevent condensation and to exhaust the moist air from above the Yankee jar. It requires really small fans with a low electric power consumption level. You can see it clearly in the chart. The difference between the steam hood and the air cap is pretty impressive as we consume around 110 kilowatt hour less energy per ton of the paper, what is around 4 million kilowatt hour energy less each year. And this brings around 340,000 euro savings in the mill's pocket per year and over 3,600 tons of CO2 less to the environment. It is also worth to mention that air cap design is almost maintenance free device comparing to steam hood, what brings another benefits for our customers. Well, we don't have a conventional hood, so how to keep the same production level? Yankee dryer optimization is one of the key. To dry faster, what we actually need, we had to make the wall thickness thinner to improve heat transfer coefficient. Yes, we made the wall thickness thinner, but we had to also remember about the Yankee strength. We spent lots of hours on finite element calculations. And we found that we can make it wall thickness thinner by playing with rip height, rip width, shell shape or welding type. As you can see it in the chart, wall thickness reduction by only 2 mm, what we have done, gave us production increment by 3.2%. Moreover, we still work on the shapes and we aim to make the wall even thinner, keeping all safety factors in. That was good, we have changed the Yankee, but it was not enough. We had to find still missing production. Here the press part comes. Most of the mills run with the conventional suction press row loaded around 90 kN per meter. We wanted more, actually much more. We set the value at 115 kN per meter to increase the dryness after the press row. We had to remember also that so high nib with the conventional press rows can destroy bulk in the paper. So we've made row much larger with a proper cover to make the nib width wider. 
Yes, we knew that each percent of dryness increase after press roll gives around 5% more production rate, so we push the roll to the reasonable limits. Together with the soft and thick cover and double doctor, we could increase the dryness even more than that. It was a bit challenging, but in the final, after first startups, we found that all of our calculations were correct and in some places we still have some room for further optimization. In the chart you can see that there is one more bar with 120 kN per meter. This is the same concept as we have done with Yankee. We are still looking for better performance. Exactly. And I'm sure we will find the solution. Here it comes the summary of the changes we wanted to compare two machines with pretty the same production rates. The steam hood machine has 16-foot Yankee dryer and the air cup machine has 18-foot Yankee dryer. Both machines have the same reel trim. So when you decide to buy a machine with an air cup with a bigger Yankee dryer and a larger diameter of press roll, you save almost 10% of investment costs of the tissue machine, as it is cheaper than conventional steam hood type machine. Additionally, every year you can save almost 700,000 euro on electric energy. Moreover, you can save another 416,000 euro on steam each year. These are the savings without compromising the tissue quality or production rate. And what is also very important, we make our earth greener by reducing CO2 emission by almost one and a half million tons each month. Incredible, isn't it? There is one more very important thing we have to say. Intelli tissue machine is very easy to run. Operators friendly designed and really optimized level of maintenance works. We hope you like our Intelli tissue concept. That's all from us. Let's get back to the studio.